Hi, so in today's video, I'm going to go through the standard voltaic cell. So we're going to look at zinc and copper. So first of all, I've got my two sides of the voltaic cell and I would need to draw in my salt bridge. So remember this salt bridge keeps the charge species neutral. So it will have salts in there and it will pass those salts into the solution as you need to make sure that it's all neutral. So the anions, so the negative charged species will go towards the anode and the, the positive charged species would go towards the cathode. So these can be our electrodes that are connected up. And that would be the voltmeter uh, where you could read that. This would be, for this example here, we've got zinc. So we've got zinc that's losing electrons. So oxidation is loss. So this is the oxidizing, which belongs at the anode. And at the cathode, we've got the reduction is gain of electrons which is your copper, 2+, plus, gaining electrons to become copper solid. So th the reduction occurs at the cathode. So oxidation at the anode, reduction at the cathode. So this would be my oxidation. So this would be zinc solid, and this would be my copper solid. Now, when the electrons are lost in the oxidation, they travel to the reduction and it picks those electrons up. So when we're drawing this out, we want to draw out the, the solids or the whatever your electrodes would be. It might be gas if it's hydrogen. Your solutions, these are one molar is your standard. You've then got your salt bridge connecting them, and then you've got your um, electrodes being connected through an external circuit. So oxidation at the anode and reduction at the cathode. Another thing to think about is that if oxidation is losing electrons, over time that would be losing mass, and the cathode, which is reduce uh, the reduction, which is gaining electrons, will be gaining mass over time. Now, the last thing you might need to do is work out what is the volts of this system. So what is the EMF of this system? And that will be another video.